Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and 3M. Superlatives have a short shelf life in the automotive world. Today's world's fastest is tomorrow's also ran. And the same can almost be said of this F12 Berlinetta. The quickest Ferrari road car to date may soon be eclipsed by the new 963 horsepower LaFerrari Hybrid. Yet this is a Ferrari like we like them, a V12 up front and only two seats behind. So is this a Ferrari for the ages? or one destined to be yesterday's news. The 2013 Ferrari F12 Berlinetta may be the fastest street going Ferrari ever, but spoiler alert, it is also the gentlest. It feels downright docile on striped pavement. And while Ferrari has certainly made strides in this area over the past decade, we weren't expecting them to have achieved this level of civility. But this test is no driving Miss Daisy, as listening to the V12 engine build its way up to its 8700 RPM redline is totally fast and furious, and the expected music to our ears. The F12 follows the front engine rear drive layout of previous GT Ferraris, but replacing a car like the 599 GTB is a bit like divorcing one supermodel to marry a younger one. But the F12's vivacious curves are purposeful as well as drop-dead gorgeous. The aero bridge hood catches air flowing over the car and funnels it out the side, accomplishing both desired effects of increased downforce and reduced drag. An integrated spoiler flows across the entire rear and works with the split diffuser to keep the air flowing, while the F1-inspired fog light just looks cool. And it all must really work as Ferrari claims that the F12 is quicker around their Fiorano test track than even the Enzo. The chassis is aluminum intensive and at 3,593 pounds weighs in at more than 100 pounds less than the 599. It's also more compact and cramming a V12 engine into a smaller chassis than the 599 is like shoehorning 12 pounds of awesomeness into a 10 pound container. But they did it with even more purpose to the art of engineering than its predecessor. That awesomeness, by the way, is an all-new 6.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 with a 13.5 to 1 compression ratio to whip up 731 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque. Transmission is the familiar rear-mounted F1 dual-clutch automated manual, but it's been updated with gear ratios specifically for the new V12. It shifts just about perfectly whether by your decision or the cars. Though like a thoroughbred raised for the track, it's not a fan of going too slow and will let you know its displeasure. Keep it happy by staying on the throttle and when used with the launch button, will whip you from 0 to 60 in just 3.1 seconds. E-Diff 3 directs distribution of power to the rear wheels and dual coil SCME magnetic ride handles suspension duties, seemingly predicting road conditions rather than reacting to them. Steering is hydraulic, no electric assist here, and it works with a precision that must be experienced to be fully appreciated. As much or as little electronics as you wish are available to help you through the steering wheel's monotino dial. It's definitely best to keep some on unless you're prepared to deal with the consequences of misappropriating over 700 horses. Standard carbon ceramic discs are there to help as well, and they do work well behind 20-inch five-spoke wheels. Like a typical Ferrari, just about every part of it evokes a passion that's not easily explained, and that emotion certainly carries over to the interior where you'll find Italian leather spread about liberally, as well as a new level of interior fit and finish for the brand. Still, everything looks stripped down and purposeful. There's no touchscreen here, but it's also impeccable, as the steering wheel itself is pure automotive art. Like the 599, there's seating for only two, but there'll be plenty comfortable road tripping. And trunk space is more generous than it appears as the 11.3 cubic feet of space expands to 17.7 after lowering the rear bench panel. Our time with the F12 was too short, 
But really, is any amount of time in a Ferrari enough? Government fuel economy ratings are improved over the 599, but still supercar-like at 12 city, 16 highway, and 13 combined. As for pricing, with gas guzzler tax and destination, expect to shell out close to $330,000. The fastest, it seems, doesn't come cheap. Packing this much exotic performance into a daily friendly design is a feat that only Ferrari has achieved. We're not sure how much more extreme Ferrari can go in either direction, but if they keep building cars like the 2013 F12 Berlinetta, we'll continue to be thrilled to go along for the ride.